Second part, philosophy. As I told, nature structured the universe really, really good way. We called it sciences and discovered the laws of these sciences. And one of the most important and the common laws of the universe and the science called philosophy. In translated from Greek, that means love to wisdom. And one of the major philosophic law tells that life is built on the struggle and unification, unity of opposition. Struggle and unity of oppositions. This is one of the major law in universe for everything. And we as a human beings with our dance and activity are part of nature and we are living under those law. In nature everything has an opposition and you could help me. If I will say good, opposite will be bad. If I say left, opposite will be right. Up, down, cold, hot. To be or not to be. To run or not to run, man and woman. So now we come to the point of something called ballroom dancing originally as a combination of man and woman. There are two oppositions, in fact, from the beginning, staying opposite each other and struggling, struggle, but are in necessity to combine and to create the common unit. We need knowledge for that, and then to operate with that knowledge for creation of something called harmony. So harmony is a result of this second half of this law. When this unity is happened, we have harmony. That's why nature is so beautiful and in harmony, because nature is balanced with oppositions inside. And there is a law of harmony. Be attentive now. Harmony is an equally developed correlation of various components within a certain system, including also an opposite components. So we're coming from, there is a system which is fulfilled with the different components. As more components, as more rich this system will be, but as more difficult will be the task to balance it. If you take vacuum, no components, it's a pure balance, but it's not tasty. As soon as you put something inside, it starts to be more interesting, but it's more difficult now to operate with these components. As more you put in, as finally, if you will be lucky to create this balance, you will have the harmony on the highest possible level. There is something called ideal in the world, when we all are focused to go. It's not reachable, but this is a direction of our discoverings. If you look at the dance competitions, the winners are always those ones who have the biggest amount of components in their performance and the balanced the best possible way. So there's different levels of harmony. When I'm judging competition, for example, I'm first of all looking at the harmony of a couple and choosing only those ones who are in harmony for next round. If couple just running fast around, but having a wrong outfit, uh, no music, it's not harmony. Or they have a beautiful, beautiful dress, but again, staying in a horrible position, it's not a harmony. So harmony means equal level of each component inside. You might have this experience from the past, or at the competition, when uh, your couple coming back, and you're asking, how was the comp? You wasn't there. Said, you know, that was really funny results. We don't think even about ours, about our results, but there was one couple so, so fast and powerful, but finished only six. It was another couple, it was so musical, but finished only fifth. And it was another one, so, and it finished only, and who was the winner? I don't know, the gray one, not really, it's something interesting. And I always thinking, that was a real good panel of adjudicators at this competition. They choose not someone just pride, they choose this balanced couple, harmony couple. 